Prezygotic isolating mechanisms block reproduction before zygote formation and postzygotic mechanisms after it. Prezygotic mechanisms that prevent mating, premating mechanisms, are the most efficient and are thought to be the only isolating mechanisms subject to natural selection. In the eastern United States, two closely related species of oaks inhabit the same general area. The scarlet oak, Quercus coccinea, grows in poorly drained swampy areas with acid soil, while the black oak, Quercus volutina, grows in well-drained uplands. Hybrids between the two are occasionally produced, but they rarely survive as they are not as well adapted as either of the parental species. In most cases, the spatial separation of the two habitats is enough to prevent cross-pollination. This type of isolation, where closely related species occupy different habitats, is known as ecological isolation. In some wetland communities, a number of related species of frogs may all occupy similar habitats. Each of these species usually mates at a different time of the year, which effectively prevents crossbreeding between species. This is an example of temporal isolation. Flowering plants also demonstrate temporal isolation when related species occupying the same area flower at different times of the year.